Iowa is having a solid season so far, Dick. I'll tell you one thing. This team has two faces. I asked the coach which version of the team is going to show up. And he said that lack of preparation is the reason for their inconsistencies in the past, but that they're prepared tonight. We'll see. And, of course, here's our starting lineup. Hey, Brad, check out the power forwards. These kids are fun to watch. They've got enough skill level to carry their respective teams to victory. And it's time for the tip off. Tips up, and the game is on, baby. Ten seconds to shoot. Tries for two. No good from the field. And now getting set up in the flex here, Dick. Well, the flex motion offense is a great way to generate some movement. At times, it's a bit predictable, but good teams should be able to counter when defenses try to cheat. Cross court. Number one is whistled for the foul. Well, I don't know if there's such a thing as a good foul, but that might have been one right there, Dick. Hey, Mr. Nestler, I like that type of play. He's saying to the defense, no easy baskets for you. We're going to force you to make shots. And here's what it looks like if you average out his numbers over the course of the season. Hey, the numbers can be nice, but they can also be deceiving. You never want to judge someone purely by their averages, no matter how high or low they may seem. It's two of the charity strike. And we're going the other way. Number 35 sees his first action of the day. Man, I love to watch this kid play, Brad. He's the type of player who knows how to really lift the team. Coach looks on, focused, a lot of intensity, a lot of emotion. And our trifecta for the night. Aaron Andrews on the sideline with Dick Vitale. I'm Brad Nestle. Nice to have you along with us. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Here's a look at each team's record, both their conference and their overall marks. You always want to do well in conference games. I guarantee that getting the conference title is a goal for every team in America. Here they go in transition. He hammers it home. He can light things up in a hurry. He's got that scores mentality. You have to take him to make him, and this kid does a lot of both. There's a double team waiting there. For the bucket. That was nice. Get out of the way, baby. That was absolutely sensational. Knocks it down. All right, let's check in third member of our team again. Here's Aaron Andrews. Coach has been quite animated over here on the sidelines. It's all positive, though. He's pleased with the manner in which they're playing their up-tempo style. I overheard him saying that if this continues, he likes his team's chances. Guys? Aaron Andrews, always close to the action. Locks it. Had a momentary look from three-point land. For two, he doesn't get the hoop. He gets the bucket to fall. And they get the turnover. The Bison's now looking for a basket in transition. Takes it off and number 34 has been negatively influenced by his play. I love that block shot for that. Really gives you a lot of momentum. The 
this shot. On the right side. Goes up for two. Sinks the shot. Coach wants them to set up offensively now. Too much. That's a foul. Oh, it looked like he had an easy basket coming up, but the defense commits the foul instead. Great play there, Brad. He was able to foul him in order to prevent the easy basket. The Hawkeyes are going to be at the line for the first time in this game. Makes the first shot. Receives the pass. And he goes with a spin. I tell you, field the defensive player on your hip. Going one way, and you spin back the other way. Jumper. Jumper didn't look pretty. I can tell you that. That baby was ugly. Around eight minutes remaining on the game clock. On the dribble, gives it up. He pulls up with a jumper. Missed it. Tries for two. That's good. Number 24-42. They go into the low block. There's the block. Full court pass. He shoots from the corner. I wonder if he's ever going to get any help from his teammates, Dick. He's doing it all and then some. Hey, if it wasn't for his play, that'd be in big trouble, Brad. Someone else needs to step up. Gave it up. Seven minutes left on the game clock. Look at that spacing. Now with ten to shoot. Number 25 picks up the foul. First personal foul. Let's take another look at this deep three. Here comes the ball screen. And it's dripped. Active hands. And the slam. Well, we'll see if they've decided to go in another direction with things right here, Dick. It wouldn't kill them to get a little diversity in their play right now. Number 34 gets the pass. Number 5 is charged with the foul. Well, if there is such a thing as a good foul, that was probably it. Sure was, Brad. He fouled to prevent the easy basket. Number 23 to the charity line. It's the first shot. Second shot, no good. Number 15 gets the pass. For the bucket. Off the mark.
Number 50 with the foul. First personal foul. Well, he commits an intentional foul there to prevent the easy basket. Well, it's a smart play, Brian, especially if you can afford to use a personal foul. I like his mentality. No easy baskets. At the free throw line. Opportunity. Nothing but nylon in the end. Gets the second shot. Nick, they're really getting it done from... Pushes it up. About six minutes remaining. Number 34 is called for the foul. Second team foul. Well, I don't know if there's such a thing as a good foul, but that might have been one right there, Dick. Hey, Mr. Nestle, I like that type of play. He's saying to the defense, no easy baskets for you. We're going to force you to make shots. He goes to the line for the first time. He misses his first shot. Hits the second shot. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. He drains the bucket. two shot off number zero gets the ball both teams are looking to get something going here looking for a good shot he puts up the J they get it to go this is the type of guy that can throw the whole kitchen sink at you if you're not careful. They like his game because he can play with his back toward the basket, and he can shoot it from 12 to 15 feet. The point guard takes the pass. On the dribble, gives it up. We're at the five-minute mark. The center takes the pass. He puts it up. Can't get the shot to go. Goes up for two. Goes. Number five. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc, looking for the open. Swatted away. Makes the shot. Looking for a good shot. For the bucket. He hits it. Four minutes left on the game clock. Number zero is whistled for... He took it hard to the rack and got the foul. Well, that's what his coach likes to see. His boys going hard to the hole and not settling for the jump shot. Another great sophomore right here, Dick. Well, Brad, he's still mature. With your underclassmen, it's about improvement day by day, year after year. He makes it. No problem so far at the free throw line tonight, Dick. Well, they're making the most of the free ones. Dumps it in. He rejects it. Gave it up. He throws it up from downtown. Missed the jumper. On the left side. They move it into the front court. Hit, hit. 
in the lane. And score it. Number 31 picks up the foul. Oh, it looked like he had an easy basket coming up, but the defense commits the foul instead. Great play there, Brad. He was able to foul him in order to prevent the easy basket. It's tough when almost everyone on the floor can knock down their free throws. You'd love to see a team take pride in shooting a high percentage from the line. Misses the second. Out of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. For two, off the glass and no good. Goes up for two. Drains it. No number. Trying to go inside. Number 15 is charged with the foul. First personal foul. Well, if there is such a thing as a good foul, that was probably it. Sure was, Brad. He fouled to prevent the easy basket. Number 31 goes to the line for the first time. Rims off. kill you somewhere down the line. Well, you got to convert. That's the one thing like football special situations. You got to be able to execute there. Well, it commits an intentional foul there to prevent the easy basket. Well, that's a smart play, Brian, especially if you can afford to use a personal foul. I like his mentality. No easy baskets. A couple of free ones. Gets his first. Makes those free throws count. He wants to go back on that campus. This BMOC. Big man on campus, baby. The small forward handles the feed. Goes up with a shot. Nope. Let's check in with Erin Andrews and what she's got in store for us, Erin. The Hawkeyes coaching staff is extremely happy with the current tempo of the game. They've been encouraging their players to play that up-tempo style. Expect for the hectic and aggressive play to continue. Erin Andrews, our sideline correspondent. All of you know that with an additional insight there. Looking to move it around the perimeter. He attempts the jump shot. Scorches the net with a J. Tries for two. He gets that one to fall. Number five. They work the perimeter. For the bucket. Scorches the net. On the outside. For two. He misses it. The small forward takes the pass. They strip him in a basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there. Cross court. He fakes the shot. Trying to feed the low block. A lot of good things happen when you bring the ball down to the inside. Gets it to go. The crowd begins to chant. Who says there's no such thing as a home court advantage? He puts up the three ball. Scores it. Shot clock is dead. From left of the circle. Perfectly executed. 
Did a great job of getting to the hoop on that one, Richard. I tell you, he was fearless right there. Did a great job taking it to the rack. It's a great concentration to finish strong. At the end of the first half, the Hawkeyes are ahead by five. Let's take a look at the keys for each of these teams today. I've been really impressed with just how hard both teams are playing. These numbers show you how they've been performing. Looks like they're going to go with a full court man to man press, Dick. Looks at a three. Plus the J. They really got the defense on their heel. They're almost helpless right now out there. Now they work it around the perimeter. That's a foul. I don't know if there's such a thing as a good foul, but that might have been one right there, Dick. Hey, Mr. Nestle, I like that type of play. He's saying to the defense, no easy baskets for you. We're going to force you to make shots. The Bisons really struggle from the free throw line. You have to be able to shoot free throws no matter where or how much you fly. Both free throws go. Number 34 with the foul. First team foul. Oh, it looked like he had an easy basket coming up, but the defense commits the foul instead. Great play there, Brad. He was able to foul him in order to prevent the easy basket. At the line. He missed it. Misses the free one. Goes up for two. He makes the shot. Well, you know, if basketball was like nutrition, Dick, his game would be broken down into the two major food groups, and that's passing and scoring. It doesn't matter if you're a scorer who passes well or a good passer who can score. There will always be a spot for you on a team. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. And drains it. inside and that's going to be an offensive foul for sure what a great job defensively what a super job great footwork and he really draws the charge stolen away on the dribble gives it up here they go in transition the shooting guard with the ball the missed shot the point guard takes the feed. On the outside. Who wants it? And he saves it. They say forget about it. And then he does a little dribble attack here and turns it over. Moving it around the perimeter. And they come with a double team to stop it. Cross court. And now in transition, going the other way. Tries for two. Too strong. Up and inside. And the strip. Quick hand. Gave it up. Taken away. Screen up on top. Number 50 is called for the foul. Second personal foul. 
Well, if there is such a thing as a good foul, that was probably it. Sure was, Brad. He fouled him to prevent the easy basket. Here's another solid junior, Dick. Knowing there are guys on your team who know what you want and know what it takes to be successful is a big bonus. He can't get one to fall. The small forward gets the ball. For the bucket, off the glass and no good. He hits the shot. Number 24, 4 Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Stolen away. Number 25 receives the pass. Pushes it up. He shoots from the deep corner. It would be nice if he could get some assistance out there. That young man is doing it all for his team right now. Brad, he's not getting any help out there. It's basically one against five. Not good odds. The Hawkeyes in transition. Number 23 is whistled for the foul. First personal foul. Well, he commits an intentional foul there to prevent the easy basket. Well, it's a smart play, Brad, especially if you can afford to use a personal foul. I like his mentality. No easy baskets. Hey, a player's senior year is such an emotional one. The key is to stay focused and not get caught up on being in your last year of collegiate basketball. If you focus on the right things, win or lose, it'll be a memorable experience. the perimeter spacing so important get 15 to 17 feet apart puts up the jumper gets the J to fall Oh, that's going to be a costly turnover, Dick. I'll tell you, turnovers can absolutely destroy a team. Turnover City now always really negate any offense. A great block shot. He comes away with it. The Hawkeyes pushing the ball in transition for two. Nope. Pushes it up. Good 
goes up off the mark here they go in transition goes up for two he nails the bucket Working it around the perimeter. Puts up the shot. Perfectly executed. Looks like the defender's a little bit tired out there. This is no time to be tired. Get a sub if you need a break. On the right side, he launches a three. Excellent jump shot right there. Tries for two. He nails the shot. They'll work it around the arc. Number 50, pump fakes. Pushes it up for the bucket. Gets it to fall. Number 50, Number 50. For two, he buries the shot. Didn't look like anything was going to keep him from the basket there, Dick. Well, he spotted an opening, and he just absolutely great first step, and he exploded to the goal. Here's the offensive drop step, a low block, but better defense. I'll tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. Goes in. Tries for two, and he can't hit the shot. They work it around the perimeter for the bucket. You betcha. About five minutes remaining. The center takes the pass for two off target. He manages to keep it in play. On the dribble, gives it up. job defensively. They just won't get many openings. Pressure in the basketball. Goes up for two. That one's off. About four minutes remaining. Number zero gets the ball. Takes the jumper for two. Nice tip. This guy's really known as more of a power guy. I tell you, you know I like the way this kid uses his body, Brad. He's the type of guy you want in your roster. When you want that inside presence, his size and power is an asset. The ending to this one might be headline news in tomorrow's paper. I call these ones knee knockers, Brad. Close games that can easily go down to the final second. The shooting guard gets the pass. Tries for two. Rims out. Dick, when I see those types of things, I just get chills. The Rockets fans are going nuts. They're going bananas, Brad. Off the glass and no good. Gave it up. We're at the three-minute mark. Goes up with a shot. He misses the jumper. A little two-man action. He strips him clean. He's money with a shot. Number On the dribble, gives it up. 
for the bucket. He gets that one to fall. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have the blocks up there. Yeah, that helps. Ball down low. Puts it on the floor. It's around a fadeaway. The shooting guard takes the feed. We're at the two-minute mark. Jumper didn't look pretty, I can tell you that. That baby was ugly. And a momentary look from three-point land. Up with the shot. Off the backboard. Goes up for two. Sweet-looking shot. He is super. He really is. the deuce off the glass the small forward takes the feed for two the layup is good and we're back to a two-point game steal they get out on the break nice shot one minute left on the game clock it's a four-point game this one could go either way don't give up your seat Tries for two. Hey, one of these guys going to be able to make a shot. Well, it's time to start fouling. They got to stop the clock. Nick. That one deserves another look. That's a strong take. A strong, strong take to the goal. Shot clock is dead. And they continue to foul to stop the clock. Foul, and that stops the clock again. They're set to throw it in from the side. Number zero picks up the foul. 16 foul. The offense sets up from the sideline. And the clock stopped with a foul. Defensive foul two, two. No, number 31. Shooting goal. No, number five. I'll tell you what an opportunity he's got right here. Because to me, this is a gift. Gets the second shot. They really need a score here to have a chance. Time out on the floor, and with that, let's go courtside to Aaron Andrews. Based on the score and the time remaining, the coaches will be looking to calm their players down. Adrenaline levels may have shot up over the last few possession guys, so the coach will be looking to reduce any anxiety. It should make for an interesting finish. Back up to you. I'm pretty sure you're going to agree with this, Dick. The best coaches always seem to have their teams prepared coming out of a timeout. Preparation's the name of the game, Brad. You have to be prepared at the start of games and following timeouts. Feeling to have a plan at these points during the game is ill-advised. Second shot, good. We've got ourselves a dandy here, folks. The lead has been trimmed to four. Steps to the line for the freebie. Misses. They really need a score here to turn this to a one possession game. We're ready to get back to the action. Gave it up. He shoots from outside. They have to foul to send up to the line. And, hope they miss. and they continue to foul to stop the clock. With the free throw. 
He makes the front end of the one and one. Gets it. Number five may be the most talented sophomore in the whole country, Dick. Without a doubt, he's among the best, the most talented sophomores in college basketball. And we're ready to get things back going again after the timeout. Pushes it up. Loose ball and batted in. And the clock stopped with a foul. Foul two. Number ten. Shooting opponent. Number five. I can't emphasize it enough, Brad. It's important to get to the charity strike. It'll be interesting to see the level of energy, Dick, when they come out of this timeout. He shoots from long range, and he can't hit the shot. Iowa narrowly comes away with a win. They came in the favorites, and they did not disappoint. That's going to do it for us, folks. Thanks for being along. For Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler. Always nice to be recognized as one of the Thank <laughs> you.